You're listening to Sounds Eclectic. I'm Nick Harcourt, and now we turn to a live performance with the band Spiritualized. The group's most recent album is called Let It Come Down from Arista Records. We'll come back and catch up with the group's Jason Pierce in conversation shortly, but first up, the music. In fact, this is an exclusive. It's the first time Spiritualized have ever performed acoustically. Here's the first song. It's called Stop Your Crying, Spiritualized, live on Sounds Eclectic. Nothing hurts you like the pain of someone you love There ain't nothing you can gain that prepares you enough Come on baby, stop your crying Come on baby, stop your crying now Come on baby, stop your crying Come on, baby, stop your crying now Nothing hurts you like the pain Of someone you care about could take it on myself, you know I sure would, without a doubt. Come on, baby, stop your crying. Come on, baby, stop your crying now. Come on, baby, stop your crying. Come on, baby, stop your crying so broke inside but I'll devote my life to loving you Come on baby stop your crying Come on baby stop your crying Come on baby stop your crying Stop your crying now Come on, baby, stop your crying Come on, baby, stop your crying now Come on, baby Come on, baby Come on, baby, stop your crying You're listening to a live acoustic performance from Spiritualized on Sounds Eclectic. You gotta hold on, baby, to those you hold dear. Hang on to the people. 
I'm Nick Harcourt, and you're listening to Sounds Eclectic and a live performance by Spiritualized. The songs in the first set were Stop Your Crying and Hold On. While Spiritualized started as a band, it's always been the vision and is at this point pretty much a solo project for Jason Pierce. Let It Come Down is the third Spiritualized album made in the studio, and it continues to showcase Jason's talents as a composer and arranger, as well as a songwriter. The new CD includes contributions from an orchestra and a gospel choir, and I began our conversation by asking Jason about the evolution of Spiritualized. It was kind of, I guess the starting point was to aim outside of, of our expectations each time, that you, you're always working in an area completely new and, and everything's a kind of learning thing, so... Um, and and it was kind of like to, to try and... almost like to take a cue from people like Gil Evans' big band and uh, the Ray Charles sessions or Duke Ellington that it was to put together a piece for an orchestra that worked uh, where the, the kind of harmonics of the music, the, the notes being played and the lyrics said would carry the album. It wasn't really to do with how, how a lot of modern music is made where it's about the, the sonics of sound. You know, it's, not, it's, it's about how you affect the bass drum or crunch the guitar or whatever. And I wanted to kind of make a thing where 
a record whether that wasn't the important thing now you did um a, a live album a couple of years ago where you had the uh, london community community gospel choir get involved was was that something that began the impetus for this or, or were you already heading in this direction i guess some of the live shows yeah because we started to bring in horn sections and stuff and and choirs for the shows so they were getting bigger but it it, it was more about orchestrations for for an, for everything for the woodwind the strings and the whole lot when you talk about guys like gil evans and and, and duke ellington did you have a history of listening to that music as a younger guy, or was it something that you discovered once no, you started? No, a lot of it. I mean, Gil Evans John turned me on to, you know, relatively. When we started working around, I guess, the Pure Phase album, which is about eight years ago now. Right. But um, it, it was, it's the kind of, it's the thing, it was also, I guess, talking to Jim Dickinson in Memphis about, he was, he was talking about music, uh, great music being about pushing air around. And I love that, that idea of, you know, having real instruments pushing the air around in the studio, and uh, you know that's what we were after. It's sort of, you know, like I mentioned Ray Charles. It wasn't to kind of to copy the sound of his session, but it was to to make for a session where it was all people pushing air around in a single room, and you'd record that. We'll talk about that once you headed into the studio. Did you go in on your own at first and start to build the record, or did you go in pretty much straight away with other musicians? We, we, it was about a year in the in the writing just putting the orchestrations together because we we didn't we didn't have time or money to rehearse so everything had to exist on paper before we actually got into the studios and because we were we we had a short amount of time to record it was about ha knowing that the paperwork was going to work you know, the actual sessions went down in a couple of weeks i was going to say when you want to pull a hundred musicians together it kind of starts to get expensive yeah and, and there's not really room in the studio to kind of like make ch make for changes or say let, you know let's let's work on this a bit it kind of all the all the orchestrations were down before we got there can you talk about the the gospel elements in the music that's something that has been in your music in the past and it seems to be a constant yeah it's all kind of it's, i guess it's rooted in the stuff I was listening to when I was a kid, you know, the, the, a lot of American music, it's all kind of rooted in the blues and R&B and gospel music. And I just, I've, it, pretty much it hasn't, what, you know, the, the, the sort of, the roots of what we do, it hasn't changed. We're not, we're not making U-turns or, or uh, you know, change of direction. The direction is fine, it's just to, to aim further out each time and it, each with each show or each uh, new recording. It's just to take that, the kind of next logical step on more of an evolution than pretty much and the shows work like that it's not like we're we're just going through the motions and kind of playing the parts in the right place like like some dumb cabaret it's it, <laughs> it constantly you know evolves and gets more electric more emotive and more exciting here's more from our live session with spiritualized this is all my tears live on sounds eclectic
river to wash away all my tears. You're listening to Spiritualized, live on Sounds Eclectic from Public Radio International.
You've been listening to a live set of music from Spiritualized on Sounds Eclectic. The songs in the second set were All My Tears, and we're actually wrapping up with the piece we're listening to now. It's called Electric Machine. The band's most recent album is a little more plugged in. It's called Let It Come Down, available from Arista Records. Today's performance was engineered by Ray Guana at the KCRW Studios in Santa Monica, California. If you'd like to hear the archived edition of this or any other Sounds Eclectic program, or perhaps take a look at our old playlists, you can visit us on the World Wide Web at SoundsEclectic.com. Sounds Eclectic comes to you from KCRW in Santa Monica and PRI, Public Radio International. The program is produced with the assistance of Ariana Morgenstern, Candice Moyer, and Mario Diaz. Our technical guru is Mr. Bob Carlson, and I'm Nick Harcourt. Support for Sounds Eclectic comes from Apogee Electronics Corporation, makers of professional digital audio solutions for the recording, film, and broadcast industries worldwide on the web at apogeedigital.com. Apogee, sound amazing. This is Sounds Eclectic. <laughs>